speech. <laughs> See, now I feel terrible because those were two really nice stories. <laughs> and the two pages I have here. <laughs> uh, so first, I want to start by thanking everyone for coming. Um, and I particularly want to take a moment to acknowledge and thank um, Hugh and Linda. Where are you guys? And there we are. I, I also want to thank Lynn. I want to thank Tom for helping to make uh, what has been a, a absolutely beautiful ceremony, an amazing dinner, a really blast for reception. And unfortunately, it falls on me to sort of to sort of stop that. Um, my, uh, my name is. Uh, uh, Jay, I'm Tim's best man, and when he asked me to be his best man, I was a little surprised. Um, <laughs> not because we're not close or anything, we're actually quite close, it's just that when he finally proposed to Jen, I thought, oh great, now Tim is on track to making good, solid, strong decisions. <laughs> and uh, I almost lost the rings, <laughs> I almost lost him on the hike this morning. And uh, let's be honest, ladies, if I haven't hit on you yet tonight, <laughs> uh, your number is probably coming up. So, uh, what I really want to know is, well, for, uh, Amy, what did Jen have to say to you to convince you guys both to be my other half? Jen, tell us about you. Tim told me that you have a maid of honor and a matron of honor, buddy. I don't know how you swung that for me, but I owe you <laughs> like five years. Um, so this is not to say I don't. I don't mean that Tim historically makes poor decisions. It's not what I mean. Um, it's just that I, I know Tim from college. We were roommates at Marist, and um, for those of you that don't know him personally, uh, the dude is a talker. <laughs> and outgoing. What a chatty guy. No, I'm serious. Um, no, although although he is he's quite shy, uh, um, he still manages to find himself in just absurd situations. And and one of my favorite Tim stories from college is when uh, he popped into my room holding a giant coil of rope. Um, and like serious rope, like lasso an elephant big. And he says, Jay, uh, I got an idea, I need your help. I need you to help me tie this to Jen's dresser. <laughs> and now I'll, I'll get to Jen's uh, angel levels of patience here. <laughs> but so what, what Tim went on to describe for me was uh, we were to junior year, uh, we lived in a townhouse uh, that was actually next door to Jen and, and her friends. And we, there, was, there were two windows that faced one another up on the second story uh, and that were separated by about 10 or 12 feet. And Tim's plan was to go to our room, secure the rope by tying it around the bed, uh, feeding it out the second story window across the 10 or 12 feet into Jen's window and then to tie it around the dresser to secure it over there. We were creating a tightrope. Uh, to her room because who would want to go downstairs, knock on a door, and say hi? So, so, uh, and sure enough, it was like a, a, a Tuesday afternoon or something. Like Tim was bored, and this is how he solved that. This is who you're marrying. I, 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 um, and so, uh, Jen. By the way, uh, looks amazing tonight. Can we take a minute? And I'm a leader from my And I actually, fun fact, I knew Jen before I knew Tim, actually. Uh, and this is because, strangely enough, freshman year I ended up dating Jen. And so I spent I spent several nights in their room studying. And 
This is where I bring up Jen's patience because the fact that she's so close to me is, is uh, evidence of that. And, and, and not only, I mean, she, she has uh, a superhuman level of patience. She's beautiful, she's kind, and she has an enormous part as these two can certainly vouch. Um, I mean, they, they met the two of them on a mission trip to Kentucky, fixing up houses. Their dates in college were kind of, uh, walks through the Hudson Valley, conversations by the Hudson River. They jumped in puddles together. Did anybody else read the bio on their website? They jumped in puddles. Uh, and, and, and I mean, to be fair, I probably shouldn't make too much fun. I could probably learn a thing or two. Um, do, you, do you like puddles? <laughs> So, so I, I, uh, I'm going to finish up by saying that um, I heard somewhere that marriage is not about uh, finding someone you can live with, but rather finding someone that you can't live without. And judging from the amount of, of love and devotion and happiness in this room right now, especially among these two, uh, I can't help but, but smile at, at getting to be a part of this. Um, you guys, uh, today is really special. You guys are really special. What you have here in this room right now is really special, and I'm absolutely confident you'll have all the love, happiness, and devotion in the world. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Tim and Jen.